Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. I hope all of you are doing pretty well. This is Ajay Parmar and in this today video I am going to walk you through uh, about the advanced filter. We are going to talk about the advanced filter. I uploaded recently a video also, the part number one on advanced filter. If you haven't watched that video, please do and you know, do, uh, do go there with this playlist Excel VBA access interviews and watch that video on the advanced filter part one. We talked about the complex side of the advanced filter right generally advanced filter is always known to people uh, for its very very the basic you know uh, uh, functioning you know which is uh, <laughs> simply to extract the data uh, to to remove the duplicate you know to, to to extract the unique data but it is more than that so that is why i uploaded that video and today in in the same you know in an attempt to give you more information on the advanced filter i'm back with the part number two now if my indian viewers uh, if they want to watch the Hindi version of this video, they can go and watch the video number 485. You would also see that link on this video, right? And you can click and go there. Otherwise, you can also follow the playlist. Now, if you're watching the channel for the first time, guys, I welcome all of you. And I want to say this uh, with a lot of proud that we have got 486 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. Very soon, we are going to launch the web designing as well. We're going to talk about the HTML, CSS and jQuery, you know, everything, right? So, I want to share the playlist because there are so many videos and I don't want you to be lost while searching for your this, you know, while starting learning excel excel vba access or access vba this is the playlist sequence you can go and you know take pause the video and write it down though i share this in my every video this is the sequence and these are all the playlist which 47 playlist so far you can see all these playlists right created here right and one of the playlists uh, where i'm going to upload this video is actually excel vba access interview questions right so i also today uh, going to tell you or something very very uh, special which i learned recently uh, somebody when i uploaded the video you know so this video on my this uh, the, on basically my this video if you look at this video uh, the video number 482 excel interview advanced side of you know advanced filter part number one uh, mr dave actually had commented this and shared a beautiful information with us which is uh, the shortcut key F3. I'm going to talk about that also in this video, right? So let us start now right away and I'm using the same data guys. This is the same data which I used in the previous video. You have the months, you have the years and you have the team name and you have the sales done. Now my focus would be on to how to use the all condition in the advanced filter. That is what we are going to do. The how you can use the advanced filter with the all condition, right? So in this particular video, we are going to talk about that what if you need the Jan month data or the Asia data. So if you have the Jan month data with the Asia as a team name, then also it is okay. If you don't have the Jan month data with the team name called Asia, like in this case, you see that this particular record holds the month Jan, but we don't have the, you know, the Asia team here, but we would like to pull it off we would like to pull it out right so again if you go for the next let's say this jan here we have the apac this should also be considered this jan asia should also be considered right so basically we are saying that all the row numbers of jan should be taken at the same time all the teams having a team name called asia excluding apac and euro you know should be also extracted so we have the two conditions right now I'll just brief you about the advanced filter. Uh, I mean because this is a conditional based advanced filter and we are using, we are going to use the all condition. So how do we write the advanced filter? First of all, you go to the data and you can, you go and click on the advanced filter, this advanced filter, right? And uh, you can also uh, go and watch the part one because I, there I explained it uh, in, in very detail. So you can also watch that video after watching this. So this is the window. Now you should also be knowing the shortcut key guys to go to the advanced filter to bring the speed, obviously. So the shortcut key is Alt A Q. The moment you press Alt A Q, this is the window you get, right? Now, because when you press Alt key, you see that your all these ribbon tabs get highlighted. So we have to go to the data. So I'm going to press A. Now, once you press A, you are going to have the advanced 
because this is where we need to click and you see that this is Q so it's very easy or a Q right so now here we are going to obviously uh, put the criteria so I'm going to work on the criteria because in advanced filter you have three things if you if you look at back uh, you know uh, back uh, on this the window you have the list range which is the data the criteria range the criteria which you are supposed to set and then the copy to where you want to copy that data right so the criteria is the month January so you write the month and then you write here January and then you write the team name which is team name and then you write here Asia now guys two things you need to understand as I said before also in my previous video spelling should be same if if you are using here month it has to be a month remember right don't write month or MON it's not gonna work then header should be same right spellings should be same I mean right it doesn't matter case sensitive it is case sensitive or not that that is not the issue at all second thing under the headers when you write the you know uh, the things the the items which we want to put in the criteria they should also have the same spellings obviously I mean you know I, I don't think so I have to really talk about this because this is obvious that if you are going to write Jan then you you will not write you know like this January you know it doesn't make any sense because then it's not going to find that item right but the headers are very important you cannot leave them and at the same time you when you write them make sure your spellings should be correct okay now now the thing is if you're thinking that this is what the criteria has to be you're wrong right because you know what when you write like this this becomes items the rows pull out the rows where we have the month as Jan and team as Asia it's not going to pull the rest of the Jan records and the rest of the team names you know as Asia the rest of the data as Asia and you see that in this combination if you go here you have Jan with APAC and then here you have the Jan with again APAC and then if you go here you have the Jan with Asia so this is just the one row which is coming here with the Jan and Asia so if I just go and write here ALT AQ let me show you this data is already selected list range it is already selected you can uh, if, if you want to do it manually I mean if you want to change the data you can do that I mean this way you can select that right now now if you if, if you if you see this look at this carefully uh, the moment I selected the range it converted into sales underscore data I'll tell you the reason but right now I just want to tell you one thing that I'm just doing this selection this selection only right this selection you can see automatically it is coming uh, that's because I have defined that sales data as this table that's why it is coming right in your case it's not gonna come like that now this is J1 to K3 so I'm just going to change this to J1 to K2 right and then where, where do we want to copy this so I want to copy this let's say here now we should be able to see one record if this works correct and there we go as expected we got this Jan with the Asia but was this my requirement of course not because I wanted to create the OR criteria guys so what you have to do is you have to cut this and you're gonna put it here right now this basically range becomes your criteria right so what happens when the advanced filter looks for the Jan month it finds that the team name is empty so if it finds the team name empty it picks up all the team names and that is what you need and the same way it finds the Asia and in the Asia it sees that there is no month coming so it picks up all the months and that is what we are actually trying to get here so again I use the alt a q and this time what I will do so this is my list range as you can see here so this is already selected and the criteria range I will simply make it k1 to k3 uh, sorry j1 to k3 and then where you want to copy uh, let's say we want to copy here only and I press ok and there we go now you can see that we got all the row numbers if you go and check the Jan rows this is the first record and then this is my second record this is third and four and then you know blah 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 I mean I can simply go and put the filter here let's quickly check so how many Jan items we have so we have here one two three four all right four items let me remove that so we have the four items one two three four perfect right and at the same time look at this in uh, you know in the team name also we got this Asia we coming here Asia we got this Asia and then we got this Asia how many rows we have got three so are we correct this is the first row having Asia 
this is the second and this is the third one right so this is how you, it picks up so this is how you write the or condition guys right now what i have learned recently uh, which i was talking about mr dev uh, he given us a very beautiful tip so to my video now i'm going to share that with all of you so that you can also use this tip now guys as you know uh, if you do not know let me tell you so instead of selecting this the table again and again what we can do is we can define this table so what i did is actually i selected this table and i went here and i written the name sales underscore data so you can see that it is known as sales underscore data right it, it's a very normal way of you know uh, defining your table so if i go and select the sales data this is what we get to see this is what we have right now the same way i select this entire range and have given this a name called criteria you can give any name right but you're not supposed to use any space you're not supposed to use any special character you can use the underscore right so this is how the i have already created them right so for example if i select this table and i say that now this is going to be known as ajay so you just go there and write ajay and you just press enter the moment you press enter the you know the moment you go back to this uh, this name manager you get to see this ajay the moment you select ajay it takes you there so this is just a very simple step we have defined it just for our ease it is not mandatory though right so now what i do is alt a q i again go to the advanced filter now here instead of me writing that name manager called sales underscore data uh, this is what you know uh, uh, mr dev actually told us that we can also use the shortcut key f3 so the moment i press f3 look at this guys you have your name manager coming in front of you all these these are the name managers which i have created and the whatever i want to select i can just say double click and there we go and similarly here again i'm going to press f3 and now this f3 actually is my criteria i just select that criteria and that's it guys and then where do you want to copy it well i will like to copy it here right and then i go and press okay right reference isn't valid so uh, i beg your pardon uh, i should have removed that because you see you are also getting the sales address so when you are writing the name manager you just need to write the name manager i press f3 and i again go and choose this criteria there we go press okay and finally we have the data the same data guys right so this was a wonderful tip using the f3 as a shortcut key this f3 right so that is why uh, i i thought that let let's go ahead and talk about this or condition with this f3 because this is also very useful and uh, so uh, i told you the difference between or and and my purpose was to only you know uh, educate you about the or condition but i think uh, now you would remember this because we ha have we have done the we have seen the difference between you know what if if i just cut this and put it here and then if i select this range then what will happen and if i just go and write asia here then how it is going to work right so basically this is jan with every team and this is asia with every month right that's how it is so i hope uh, you you would definitely find this video very useful guys and uh, do subscribe to the channel and uh, share this channel videos all those 400 and uh, now we are going to cross 500 very soon so i hope you'll share the channel videos with all those people who want to be an expert in excel excel vba access and access vba i'll catch you soon and till then you stay happy and stay fit bye bye